So we continue our teachings on mass manners. And today we are going to look at what is called sacred silence. Sacred silence. So these are the times within the mass that we are expected to observe some moments of silence. So it is not like a marathon race. We are not running anywhere. Not and then we just do it and then we leave. There are times within mass we have to observe some moment of silence. And the general instruction pointed out four of those times. I'm going to mention them. The first one is during the penitential rites. And the priest will always call on all of us to prepare ourselves. Let us acknowledge that we are sinners. Let us call to mind our sins and ask God for mercy and pardon. So at that time, we are expected to observe a sacred silence. It is not just silence in the blues, no. We are expected at that time to examine our conscience and acknowledge those times we have sinned against God and against our neighbor and be sorry for those sins. And then the priest will give the words of absolution. The second time is during the time for collect. Collect is the opening prayer. So the priest will say, let us pray. And if you pay attention, you, want, you observe that he doesn't start praying immediately. He will say, let us pray. And then he will observe another time of sacred silence. And what are we supposed to do then? We are supposed to put together our own individual intentions, our own individual prayers. We are supposed to put them together and then present them to God such that our collect will bring together all those intentions of our hearts and present it to God as we begin the Mass. Another time for sacred silence is during the readings, the liturgy of the Word. And in those times, we have four of them. After the first reading, after the second reading, and after the homily. So I would just like to point out the last one, after the homily. So after the homily, the priest will sit. And at that time, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to reflect on the words that we have heard. We are supposed to reflect on the message that has been sent out. We are supposed to reflect on the word of God, Christ himself, Logos. So the priest will sit down and then after a moment of sacred silence, he will now call us to profess our faith. And finally, after communion. After communion, we are also expected to observe another moment of sacred silence. And at that time, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to meditate on what we have received. We have received the body and blood of Christ, the body blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ in us. So it is a time for us also to take a moment to reflect on what we have received. 
It is also a time for us to listen to God speaking to us. So it is a time for us to say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. But most of the time we end up saying, Listen, Lord, your servant is speaking. That's not how it should be. So these four moments of sacred silence is what we should always bear in mind as part of mass manners when we come to participate and to celebrate mass. But overall, here is a house of God. So we are also expected to observe silence whenever we step into this church. I made mention of that last Tuesday, that once we enter here, we should realize that we are in the house of God. It is not our private living room. It is not our private space. It is the space of God. And therefore, we are supposed to observe some decorum, some respect, because it is the house of God. So, four moments of sacred silence. One, during the penitential rite, during the collect, during the liturgy of the world, especially after the homily, and after communion. So we will continue our lesson next Tuesday. So this is lesson three. So we still have two more on mass manners. And then we wrap it up and we continue with some other topic. May God continue to bless us and give us the grace to continue to grow in our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen.